ever flown on an Airbus? Then thank the aircraft that almost should not have existed. The A300 was a twin-engine wide-body built when the world did not trust two engines, and Airbus bet their entire future on it. Back in the 1970s, long haul meant three or four engines. That was the rule. That was the religion. Then Airbus rolled out a two-engine wide-body, a move aviation leaders called unrealistic, unsafe, even irresponsible. Everyone expected it to fail. Instead, it reshaped the industry. The A300 arrived with tech no one else had. Supercritical wings, decades ahead of rivals, advanced high-lift devices, a wide-body cabin with narrow-body-style cockpit philosophy, and fuel systems that finally proved two engines were enough for serious range. It was built like a modern Airbus, before Airbus was even a real company. And here is the twist. The A300 did not just succeed, it, it created the Airbus you know today. It forced airlines to trust twin-engine efficiency. It inspired the A310, A330, A340, A350, even the A320's philosophy. It became a cargo legend. And it proved a small European startup could challenge Boeing's dominance. So was the A300 revolutionary, or a risky experiment that got lucky? Did Airbus change aviation, or did the A300 arrive decades before the world was ready? A 300 visionary or overhyped gamble? What do you think?